everyone, it's Carly, and today I'm going to show you how to alternate some wood letters. And I'm going to show you the way that I did the MPS for Robin that is on her wall in her pink loft. And um, so you are going to need some wood letters, whatever you want to decorate. I'm going to do um, two different ways. I'm going to do a fabric and a paper. I did Robin's with paper. And so here's my letters, one for each of those. And I've got my paper that I'm going to do. And I have my fabric that I'm going to do. I also have a sponge applicator. And I have Mod, po Mod Podge. Can't see that. And I have some X-Acto knives. So... We'll go ahead and get started. The first way I'm going to show you how to do this is the with the paper. And so I have my paper, and it was a 12 by 12 paper that I've cut down to um, just kind of overlap my you letter. You could take your paper and, and trace your letter and cut it out. I didn't really find that it was that much easier or saved me that much time. So I'm just going to kind of skip that step. All right, I'm just painting a good uh, thick layer of Mod, po Mod Podge on my letter. Okay, I have a good layer of Mod Podge on this, and I'm actually just going to set my paper on it and smooth it down. And then you could do it two ways. You could either just cut it by feel with your X-Acto knife. Like that. Or you could flip it over. And then just take your X-Acto knife and run it along the edge of your wood. Okay, I've scored it pretty good, and most of it's cut completely through, but I am going to flip it back over, and then I can see where most of my lines are, and I can just go back over and get that rest of it cut through. That way I didn't have to put too much pressure on my mat underneath. <laughs> And so now, I'm just going to do uh, another layer of Mod Podge. I'm going to try not do it, I mean I want to give it a good coat, but I don't want to do it like super, super thick. So I've got a light coat on that and I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry and I will show you the next one. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to cover your letter with fabric and I'm going to turn it uh, upside down and my fabric is upside down and this one I actually am going to trace because the fabric's not going to cut as easily with an X-Acto knife as paper is. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it out.
have my fabric cut out. So I'm going to turn my letter the correct way. And just kind of make sure I'm close at least. And we're just going to follow the same thing we did on the other one. Just putting a nice layer down. So now I'm just kind of eyeballing it as I put it down. Then I'm just going to go ahead and smooth it on. Okay, and because this is fabric, it's not going to, um, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to hold as quickly, so I'm going to let it dry for just a second. Now I'm just going to do a layer on top. And this is more of a heavy layer. It doesn't spread as nicely on top of the fabric or as easily. So it's, just, it's a little bit thicker of a layer than we did if we were doing the paper. And I'm making sure to get it on the edges as well because a couple of my edges are a little bit, like they don't match up exactly, which is fine. Um, I'm just, the Mod, Mod Podge will make those a little bit harder and then we can try and trim them. got a pretty good coat on that so I'm going to set that aside. Here's my K that I'm done with now. It's dried and I noticed a couple little edges um, that didn't go all the way down so I'll just take my X-Acto knife and touch those up and then I'll give it a second coat and we'll be done and I can add uh, embellishments and I can add those with uh, glue dots or hot glue gun. Uh, I tied a ribbon about around one of Robin's and I added a button on another one of her letters and the buttons I just used the glue dots but I'm sure you could use um, any sort of adhesive and then you can just finish it out how how you want. So there is our letter with paper, and like I said, I'm going to give it a second coat and after I finish trimming up a few of the areas that I see that I need to trim. And we're waiting for our B to dry, and then I'll show you how to finish that one up. I'm going to go ahead and trim up the extra fabric that's hanging over so that it's closer to my wood, and then I'll do a second coat. Okay, I have it trimmed how I want it, and so now I'll just give it the second coat. And again, you can finish this however you want, adding buttons or ribbons or flowers or just anything. And then you can hang them up, and I'm, I'm going to leave mine the same. And on my second coat, the only thing I'm doing differently is just kind of catching my edge a little bit more so that I can get any of the little uh, fuzzies to kind of disappear. And then I'll let it dry, and then I'm ready to hang it up. Mm -hmm. 